Hello, welcome to Polyphonic Press. My name is Jeremy Boyd, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new album by Mumford & Sons, entitled Babel. Here we go. So Mumford & Sons are a British folk rock band formed in 2007 by Marcus Mumford. They achieved critical and commercial success with their debut album Sign No More in 2009, and this is a follow-up to that album. This album starts off with the title track Babel, and it ha has a lot of organic instruments that you would typically hear from Mumford & Sons, uh, mandolins, banjos, acoustic guitars, and things like that. They kind of remind me a little bit of the Incredible String Band, uh, that sort of old 50s and 60s uh, folk rock era right before Dylan when electric. Although it still has a bit of a pop edge to it, you still get a sense that it's very organic and you're really not going to hear a lot of electronics in this one. In fact, you're not going to hear any. The first single from the album is a song called I Will Wait, and it's a bit more of a faster, kind of dancey beat with that really driving rhythm. It's got some really tight, fast guitar work that I can hear being played in like a pub or um, a sort of a dance bar kind of situation. This song was a pretty big hit, and it did really well in a few countries, and it's really refreshing to me to hear the, a song with the acoustic uh, instruments and mainly focusing on organic sounds can really do that well. It's really a rare thing, especially nowadays, and it's, uh, like I said, it's a really refreshing thing, and uh, I couldn't be happier that this is gaining some really good momentum. The song Ghosts That We Knew is probably the most honest song on the record. It's somewhat of a slower song with only an acoustic guitar and a soft piano, really only there to accompany the vocals. It's not there as the main hook. It's just there to, uh, to sort of give a compliment to the vocal line. The song itself can be interpreted it in many different ways. It could be a song about death, it could be a spiritual religious thing, it could be about the world in general, or it could be about a relationship. If the songwriter is talking about something specific that he has gone through, it's done in a metaphorical way that it it's not obvious, but it, it you can tell that it's about something personal. The song Broken Crown is another slow build kind of song. It starts off really slow and it builds up into this really victorious uh, driving kind of rhythm. Right in the middle of the climax, you hear Hear these horns that uh, I really didn't see coming and it's interesting to hear something that you uh, don't really expect but somehow it still works within the context of the song. It just emphasizes the song and gives it some accents on certain parts. Uh, it's done very subtle but effective. The album ends with a song called Haste and it's a love ballad that really ends the album strongly. A lot of times an album can either make you feel wanting more or it can make you feel glad that it's over. It kind of get boring. Um, I didn't feel either way on this album. I, I felt this album really ended uh, right exactly where it needed to. Um, I didn't feel like it continue on for a couple more songs, but I also didn't make me glad that it was over. I just felt a sense of satisfaction with the album. Like I said, it just ended right where it needed to. The production is a little flashy for this genre. It's very clean and well put together. Uh, I feel like every sound and every take and every instrument was meticulously planned out, which isn't always the best thing for this sort of music. If I were to do it, I would have the band set up and play live, and if they make a mistake, that's okay, because um, it, it this uh, is called folk music for a reason. It's a human kind of thing. It's not done with machines, and it's not supposed to be uh, really planned out. It's supposed to be more spontaneous. And I feel like that didn't really come across in the production on this one. Other than that, I feel this is a pretty strong album. Uh, the songwriting is top notch, and I feel like this is coming from an honest place. I don't feel like these guys are trying to be commercial. I think they're really doing the kind of music that they really love and they want to do. I think a lot of people were expecting them to do a complete 180 on this album, or at least do something different from their debut album, um, but I don't think they really need to. I think they're really just doing the kind of music that they love. I think they are evolving as artists, but I don't think they're forcing it. I think they're just kind of naturally letting it happen. You know, overall, I really did like this album, so I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. So anyway, that's what I thought about the album. Let me know what you guys think in the comments or with the video response. And if you'd like to suggest an album for me to review, please leave that in the comments as well. And uh, I guess that's about it. Take it easy.